Hello everyone, I'm Chris. I am a recently separated veteran and a full stack developer. And today I'm gonna to go ahead and talk about my latest project, uh, which is based on medical laboratory science. Uh, something that I've seen uh, for quite some time is when people get their laboratory tests back, um, you know, given the situation as well, they're, they're generally stressed out. Uh, you know, they're, they don't quite know what's going on. Uh, they get these, these results back and it's in a form that looks like a different language. Not many people know how to interpret it. For example, if you see a, an elevated neutrophil count, maybe if you're in the healthcare field, you know, sometimes they'll know, uh, but for the most part, they don't. So once they find out that I work in a clinical laboratory, it's something they'll come to me and ask about, hey, can you look at my laboratory results? Can you tell me what this means? Um, because the their provider might not have gotten back to me yet. It's, you know, providers are, are very busy. Normally they have many patients under the umbrella. So of course it, it's something I do to help people where I can. And that's what inspired me to make this application. Uh, it's somewhere where you can come, you can input your laboratory results. Um, and uh, it essentially will, will show you a list of conditions that you might be facing and, and that could help someone at some point. Um, so again, that's, that's the idea I went with. That's one of the reasons I joined the military to help people. So without talking too much, we'll go ahead and I'll just, you know, walk you through the basic processes here. And before we begin, um, just to go over the technologies used, uh, for the front end, we had React and of course JavaScript with it. Uh, for the styling, we have Bootstrap, CSS, SAS, and for the back end, .NET, uh, and, in the database, uh, Microsoft SQL Server, of course, C Sharp is used uh, with .NET uh, as well. All the endpoints were tested uh, with Postman. And uh, as we move through a few things, again, I'll explain uh, sort of how this works. So on the landing page, uh, you can see over here in the navigation bar, you can log in and register. In this case, we're going to go ahead and walk through as if we were a completely new user. Uh, and then I'll also get to, if you notice, there's a learn more section. I'll explain that uh, towards the end. So we're going to go ahead and use some pre-filled data here just to, you know, keep it short and uh, not waste anybody's time. You can see you would put in all the general information that, uh, you know, any account would, would normally require. Phone number, email, password, you know, username, of course, the login information. Uh, and then because it is a application, it's, it's based off of medical data, you're going to go ahead and have some demographics in there, such as age. So we're gonna go ahead and see, you know, age 40. Hopefully nobody gets upset with me. I don't actually know the height and age of Wonder Woman, but we're gonna go ahead and guess here. 130 pounds, say face out. And of course we'll put female in there. And that will automatically log the user in. And then from that point, we can go ahead and get started. Now, uh, before we actually move on to the form input, you can see right here on the main page, the landing page, uh, you can see the steps and, uh, you know, really the functionality. It's all really simple. It's laid out. It carries you along the way. Uh, there's really not too much thinking or interpretation. So you're going to go ahead and just enter your lab results. Uh, you know, it's going to show you the conditions, as I mentioned, and then the site will actually also track all your forms. So you can delete them and in, in future versions, you'll be able to edit them. Um, and, and there's really just a good amount of organization there already uh, for the user. So let's go ahead and keep moving here. So we're going to move to forms first, the first step of the process. Right now you have the option to input uh, two different tests. You have a basic metabolic panel and you also have a complete blood count. And with those two different things, you can find, I'd say, a very large portion of things that could be wrong. And I am again gonna add some more things in the future, but right now as a proof of concept, these two work great. And we're gonna go ahead and start with a complete blood count. So bear with me, we'll go ahead and uh, input uh, some figures in these forms. Uh, some uh, some pre-filled data here, of course. We're gonna assume we have a uh, patient here that maybe has a few things that's going on with them.
keep that at one. Platelets. You can also see as I accidentally scroll there, you know, I've uh, a system because not all these values will be whole numbers or integers. Sometimes they will be uh, decimals. And we'll go ahead and just say, we'll say what there they have plenty of platelets. One thing that that's uh, correct here. You uh, you can see at the bottom here we also input a date, and that that really goes towards organizing uh, these files uh, towards uh, the end in the account section. That will really be important. So we're gonna go ahead and submit this. And you have the option to actually submit more than one form. Um, if you only have one, that's fine. Uh, you know, we're gonna go ahead and only submit one here just to, uh, you know, keep moving through the process. But you are you are forced to answer that question because, of course, logically it has to be a yes or a no. Uh, so again, we're gonna go ahead and just continue. Now on this page, uh, this is the conditions section, right? Um, you have a few different things going on here. Immediately when you come to the page, it's gonna show you the conditions. Um, that you may be facing. Now, if you notice, or maybe maybe you also work in lab and you notice what values I put in, uh, there was elevated uh, neutrophils and white blood cell count in that situation. So bacterial infection, you know, that's one of the things you would look for. Uh, also, uh, the RBC count was low, so it could be anemia that the patient, patient is facing, excuse me. Uh, if you look up right here and right here, you have two different options. They're both gonna open off canvases. So immediately you have the link conditions. You notice that's empty right now. So if the patient, you know, go ahead, go ahead and, excuse me, and, and looks at these different conditions and says, hey, you know, maybe that makes sense. Maybe based on this, what the provider told me, or maybe some other information that they have, I'll say, hey, yeah, I have a bacterial uh, infection, at least maybe uh, presumable. Now, if you look back here, you can see it, and there's actually an option uh, to learn more and we will again move to that section towards the end but if for ease of access you know they want to find out more they can do so right from the get-go you also can see flagged results and this is going to go ahead and tell you both the the analyte of what we're looking at uh, which was high or low but it's also going to show you the displacement uh, so you'll notice this was 0.84 elevated and it was uh, from this test on this date because over time, of course, they're going to you know input more forms and all that. All the flag results will you know come and be displayed here. And uh, maybe that would be something I add in the future as well, something to organize that further. Uh, so that way, if maybe they had ten forms, you know, they could easily filter through the dates and find which one they're looking for. But as of right now, they have the date easily visible, and they can see that. Okay. Conditions page. Now we're gonna go ahead and move to the, the account page, which will be second to last one. This was part of this storing of information that I referred to earlier. So you have the CBCs. We only put in one form, so naturally that's all you're gonna see here. Uh, you know, and there is a BMP section, but again, no uh, forms are put in for the BMP, so nothing's gonna be there. Um, did use Google geocoding uh, API and also Google Maps, JavaScript, and uh, Google Places, uh, all three of those different uh, third-party APIs. And that is for the feature that I'm about to show you right now. So from the beginning, you're not forced to put an address. That is completely up to the user. But we're gonna go ahead and put one in now. So we're gonna put in, uh, let's put in a pre, let's put in some information here. So let's just give it a zip code. Let's give it a state. It's going to be Washington and uh, Seattle. And we're going to do 1912 type place. And you can see it already. It's updating data. We're going to go ahead and update the details here. And what it's going to do is not only show you, you know, of course, where that is. When you click on it, it's actually going to give you the details and the functionality here. Really, the idea of it uh, is to show, as you can see here, nearby treatment facilities uh, in your area. And so maybe if they want to get more laboratory testing done or maybe reach out to different providers for a second opinion, that is completely up to them. Uh, it's just a function they have here. Uh, that is optional. They can also go through and update any of their account details. 
maybe if maybe you know some of their demographics change over the years naturally you know such as their age then go ahead and update that here so we are going to finally move uh, to the learning section and this is broken down by different subjects so you'll see there's chemistry here hematology uh, we'll go ahead and go to hematology because one of the things our patient was facing uh, was a bacterial infection so we'll go ahead and click that and this is great right now it has about a paragraph to each one again a proof of concept I will be very shortly probably by the time you watch this video uh, already added a lot more information um, you know maybe different uh, symptoms different maybe specific analytes uh, if this is elevated and this is elevated uh, which it already does take a lot of consideration but uh, you know maybe for some self-analysis then the person uh, can can think me hey maybe this is more probable uh, for someone in a situation such as myself so uh, this would be the learning section uh, this really focuses in on some conditions um, and uh, you can go through and really uh, really take the time learn about different things some some things more common some things most people probably haven't heard about uh, things that affect uh, you know your kidney your nephrons um, but really in the end that's that's the functionality of this application um, if you have any questions you know feel free to contact me um, but I, I hope you all think it was very interesting you know I'll be adding a lot more in the future and uh, I was happy if you made it to this point in the video I'm very uh, very thankful uh, so I'll go ahead and leave you uh, with that I hope everyone has a great day